and there will be a lot of robots. The year is 2040. Humanoid robots are no longer novel. There's roughly 10 billion of them across the globe, meaning they outnumber humans. Technology has advanced enough for the AI-powered robots to perform virtually any task a human can handle. That's according to Elon Musk, who laid out his prediction in an interview with futurist Peter Diamandis at the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Saudi Arabia. Uh, your prediction on the number of robots by 2040, humanoid robots to be specific, what order of magnitude? There'll be at least 10 billion humanoid robots. Um, right. And price, price uh, point? Pro, pro, yeah, the price point will be, I think, quite low. Um, probably twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars for a robot that can do anything. In, 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 assuming we are on the good path of AI, I think we will be in a future of abundance. You know, obviously, you wrote a book called Abundance, <laughs> so I think you would agree that that is probably the outcome. Basically, anyone will anyone will be able to have any goods and services they want. the The actual marginal cost of goods and services will be extremely low in the future. Musk envisions the robots playing a significant role in sustaining productivity as global populations age and birth rates decline. Analyst projections generally fall short of Musk's vision, ranging from 1 billion to several billion humanoids globally by 2040. Morgan Stanley projects around 8 million humanoid robots in the US alone by 2040, mainly due to automation in labor-intensive sectors like healthcare and manufacturing, Financial firms like Macquarie predict that the market could exceed $3 trillion in value by 2050 as humanoid robots integrate into industry and households. Though estimates are all over the place, experts generally agree adoption of humanoid robotics will grow significantly in the coming years. Musk said the robots will be necessary with fewer working-age people. Musk said he expects the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot to enter limited production in 2025 with wider availability by 2026. Today, advanced humanoid robots can cost six figures apiece, but leading robotics companies are targeting pricing in the $20,000 range. Tesla Optimus's new upgrades make the AI-powered humanoid robot more autonomous than ever. The Tesla bot team just released new footage of the Gen 2 Optimus performing a wide range of tasks at the EV automaker's Gigafactory. Optimus engineer Milan Kovac detailed the Tesla bot's additional pieces of autonomy on the X social media platform. Using its 2D cameras, the robot can now move around new places and avoid obstacles on its own, even without GPS, by storing visual features in the cloud. Optimus can go to a charging station by itself, dock precisely, and charge for as long as needed. Multiple Tesla bots can work together to build a map of their surroundings. The engineer said the Tesla bot's walk is now more stable. It can carry payloads of up to 11.3 kilos, or 25 pounds, while navigating autonomously. Also recently, UB Tech boasted similar capabilities as the Chinese robotics leader unveiled its Walker S1 industrial humanoid robot. The company released footage of the new robot carrying a parcel weighing 16.3 kilograms, or almost 36 pounds, while walking on a treadmill. The new Tesla Optimus footage shows the robot walking upstairs, but it's unclear whether this is autonomous. Kovac said the Tesla bot team is improving the robot's abilities, walking on uneven surfaces and stairs. During a live stream dissecting the new demo, Herbert Ong and robotics expert Scott Walter were particularly impressed with footage of the robot handing drinks and snacks to employees. And then this part here, just crazy. It can interact with people, so it does visually, and it can recognize what you're asking for by just pointing. It can grab different kind of items. It's all autonomous. This is all autonomous. Just this alone could be billions and billions of dollars. Oh yeah, and yeah. So the, the, you don't have to pay a, a human. A lot of rest, restaurants and stuff like that to be able to, to serve those different items that, w without a doubt. Yeah. The demo came a week after a fleet of Tesla bots stole the show as Elon Musk unveiled the much-anticipated robo-taxi at the Wii Robot event held at Warner Brothers Studios. So, everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress. 
with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of dad. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think at scale, the, the you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car. Critics were quick to point out much of the robot's actions were likely teleoperated rather than fully autonomous. They said the event felt more like a staged demo than a display of advanced AI capabilities. There was human assistance. And the way sources describe it to me is any interaction with guests like conversations, pouring drinks, games of rock, paper, scissors were done by teleoperation. Walking around or dancing by Optimus was more autonomous. And here's the backstory. About three weeks before the event, Elon Musk decided he wanted the robots there. So he went to the Optimus team and told them so. And they had a very short window to make it happen. Tesla supporters said the Optimus is still under development. And the event successfully showcased its evolving degrees of freedom and agility. In another ex post by Kovac, the engineer said about 20 Tesla bots were active at all times. They walked through crowds, danced, posed for selfies, and handed out snacks. According to Kovac, the bots were human-assisted but walked, balanced, and danced on their own for about four hours. He said ensuring safe live operations for multiple robots during the live event facilitated big improvements in full body controls, locomotion, and stability. Though Tesla fans hoped for a demonstration of the Optimus Generation 3, the robots showcased were the second iteration, with exposed wiring making clear they're still prototypes. However, a robotic hand on display appeared to be from the upcoming revision. Musk has said the Gen 3 Optimus hand will feature 22 degrees of freedom, doubling the dexterity of the current model's hands. He said the improved hand design means the robot can perform almost any tasks humans can. Human hands have about 27 degrees of freedom, including 4 degrees in each finger and 5 degrees in the thumb. Heading into 2025, Tesla is facing increasingly stiff competition as the humanoid robotics market expands. OpenAI-backed figure is seen as perhaps Tesla's most formidable opponent. In January, several of its Figure 2 robots will start working full-time at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina, after a successful trial earlier this year. Like Tesla, Figure plans to scale production with the third iteration of its robots starting in 2025, with the goal of eventual mass production and deployment. Figure founder Brett Adcock recently said the Figure 3 is designed for high-rate manufacturing and large-scale use in industrial settings. Um, our first and second bot uh, can never be made in high volumes, or you never want to want to make it in high volumes. That was intentional. Yeah. Um, we spent all of our time designing a product that was feature complete that can do all useful work a humanoid can do. That will unlock our ability to sell that performance to customers. And we have to do that now in a very low cost way. And the real way through that is high rate manufacturing. And so, um, so yeah, we're, we're um, you know, I think continuing to, we're two years old, so continue to follow the story. I think um, over time we want, we think cost collapses. We think manufacturing volumes explode. And um, there's a lot we need to do around that hoop. It's, you know, we're, we're doing it now. We're, we're... Similar to Tesla, Figure plans to market its robots for domestic use after they prove themselves in factories. Another OpenAI-backed startup, One X Technologies, intends to introduce its neo-humanoid robots into homes instead of starting an industry. When the much-hyped robot enters homes, it will likely rely on human operators to start. The company plans to use human teleoperation as a stand-in for autonomy at first. The way we're going to tackle this problem is basically by having human teleoperation be a stand-in for the autonomy on day one. So it'll still be useful to do chores in your house, but this is fulfilled by a human operator who's remotely controlling the robot. And you can imagine that over time, as the AI gets better and better, we're replacing small parts of the uh, workflow of the tasks and chores with AI. It's kind of like the ship of Theseus, right? Where you swap out one plank at a time and then eventually it's a completely new ship that's powered by AI rather than humans. Agility Robotics plans to start manufacturing its humanoid robot, Digit, 
at its new RoboFab facility in Salem, Oregon. Agility Robotics claims it's actually the world's first factory for humanoid robots. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's been in production for about a year and we've outfitted it to build our next generation robot. The capacity of this 70,000 square foot facility is 10,000 units a year. We will roll up to that over the next couple of years. What are companies asking of you? Why the need for this level of production? Well, the biggest tailwind out there is the large labor gap. GXO Logistics, one of the world's largest logistics and supply chain providers, has already put the bipedal digit to work as part of a multi-year agreement. The robot is primarily used for logistics tasks today, but the company plans to expand its capabilities as technology advances. We're just narrowing the focus to some initial use cases um, that we can concentrate on uh, where the need is greater, but we will continue to add to those use cases over time. Atlas by Boston Dynamics is also considered a major competitor. The company just announced its partnership with Toyota Research Institute to accelerate the development of humanoid robots. For the agreement, the Toyota Institute gains access to Boston Dynamics' cutting-edge humanoid robot. And Boston Dynamics benefits from Toyota's expertise in AI with access to its large behavior models to improve the humanoid's dexterity and decision-making. There's also an onslaught of advanced AI robots emerging from China like the Fourier GR2, the Xfeng PX5, the Xiaomi Cyber One, and Unitree's H1 and G1. The pint-sized G1 is especially disruptive with its $16,000 price point. The leading Chinese robotics company just shared footage of the Short King performing a 1.4-meter standing long jump. The G1 is the likely record holder for the longest standing long jump achieved by a humanoid its size. The jumping capabilities put it in the same league as Cassie by Agility Robotics. While Cassie is focused solely on legged locomotion without a humanoid upper body, both robots excel in dynamic movement tasks like jumping. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.